pass it to linear equations part 2, which is graphical technique. First, look at the introduction to graphing linear equation. Linear equation based on y equal to mx plus c. That for a given linear equation, graphing line is much simpler if there are at least two points correctly plotted. Join the two points with a straight line. Okay, recall back y straight line here. Based on the power of x which is equal to y. So, you will have straight line either upward or downward. Look at the example of linear equations. y equal to 3x minus 4. So, here 3 is m and then negative 4 is c. So, as an information here, m is slope or gradient. Meanwhile, C represents y-intercept or constant value. Okay, next, second equation here. Negative 2 is M. Meanwhile, 1 is a y-intercept or C. Last example here is negative 1. So, negative 1 here represents slope M. And Negative 2 here is C, y-intercept. Okay guys, before proceed to graph linear equation, let's recall how to plot the points. Okay, table, x, y, then graph paper. Next, draw vertical line and horizontal line. So, vertical line represent y-axis. Meanwhile, horizontal line represent x-axis. Then, look at the scale here. 1, 2. So, the difference between scale must be set. The gap here. 1. And then, 1, 1. So, same as here. To the left, negative value. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So, when you use graph paper, make sure the total number of box here must be set. Equal scale. So, same as y axis. Let's say here, negative 1. Negative 1 and then negative 2. The difference here is 1. So, 1 based on 10 box. So, another 1, 1. So, same as here, positive value. 1, 2 and then 3. So, remember, same scale for x axis and then also for y axis. Then, how to plot the points? So, first look at this example. Let's say the value of x, 0, then y also 0. Therefore, the point is 0, 0. So, where is 0, 0? So, 0, 0 here. Okay. Then, next example. Let's say x equal to 2. Then y equal to 3. So the point is 2, 3. So where is 2? For x axis, okay, there. Then y axis, 3. Okay, then intersection between the two values is here. Okay, so the point is 2, 3. The point or the coordinate is 2, 3 right there. Proceed to third example. Let's say the coordinate is 1, negative 2. Okay. So, 1 based on x axis. Then, y axis is negative 2. Intersection here. Okay. So, that 1 is 1, negative 2. So, x1 and then y, negative 2. So, next example. Let's say x, negative 3 and then y, 1. So, the coordinate is negative 3, 1. How to plot? Okay. First, negative 3. Based on x axis, then y axis, the value is 1. The intersection here is the point of negative 3, 1. And then last example here is negative 4 and then y value also negative 4. So the coordinate is negative 4 and negative 4. So where is negative 4 x axis? Okay, then 
for y axis negative 4 intersection here so that one is negative 4 negative 4 so this is how to plot the point based on x and y okay let's look at first example how to plot the equation y equal to 3x minus 4 first for sure you should have graph paper then construct a table like that let's see what you want to use the value of x equal to 0 and the other one is 2 substitute this value 2 and 0 into this equation here x substitute like that so x equal to 0 x equal to 2 then the first coordinate here is 0 and negative 4 meanwhile second coordinate here is 2 2 then how to plot x axis and then the vertical line here is y axis horizontal line x axis vertical line y axis and then write down the scale 1 2 3 4 so this one based on horizontal line here is origin 0 0 so to the right is positive value to the left negative value meanwhile for y axis upward positive value downward negative value let's plot first plot here 0 negative 4 so first value is x axis which is 0 and then second value is negative 4 so negative 4 is on y axis second plot or second point here 2 for x and then y value is also 2 so the coordinate 2 2 right there so when you have at least two points you can join the two points draw a straight line so that one represents y equal 3x minus 4 okay next let's see from the graph find the approximate value of x when y equal to negative 1 so here the value of y given which is negative 1 based on the graph where is y equal to negative 1 so negative 1 you will have horizontal line like that negative 1 then what you need to find is the value of x so draw the line like that until you reach the horizontal line which is x axis therefore the intersection here represent the approximate value of x so the answer is x equal to 1 here the value of x we proceed to second example so the linear equation is y equal to negative 2x plus 1 first look at the value of m here negative 2 and the value of c here is positive 1 compared to previous example the value of m is positive and the value of c is negative how to plot graph paper and then table what is the value of x let's say 0 and 1 substitute 0 and 1 into x like that okay so here x equal to 0 x equal to 1 so after you substitute x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 the two points is 0 1 and the second point is 1 negative 1 okay how to plot draw a vertical axis and horizontal axis then write down the scale so first point second point draw a line like that so look at the line decreasing right why decrease because the m here is 
negative value. That's why the line is decrease. Means x increase but y decrease. Negative slope or negative gradient. Then positive one here. Make sure the y intercept value or the constant value is on y axis equal to 1. Okay, then let's say you need to find the approximate value of x when y equal to negative 2. So y equal to negative 2. Where is the line? Okay, the horizontal line like that. So this one is y equal to negative 2. Then the intersection here, so the intersection here, draw the other line, vertical line like that until the line reach the x-axis. So the intersection point here represent the approximate value of x, which is, what is the value of x here? The answer is x equal to 1.5. You also can check your final answer by substitute the value of x here. So, what is the value of x? x equal to 1.5. So, x equal to 1.5. Substitute here. You will got y equal to negative 2. Okay, you may try these two questions on your own. Then, you may check the final answer of the approximate values of x for each question. Okay guys, that's all how to solve the linear equations using graphical technique. Next, we will focus on percentage. Assalamualaikum and da.